morning again to everyone, especially the media team and my colleagues from ATMIS. Um, and I also want to thank you for coming. I am the police commissioner, Hilary Saukanu, and I humbly want to welcome you all to the ATMIS police headquarters. Sorry? I humbly want to welcome them all to the ATMIS police headquarters. We are starting a series of monthly media engagements. To provide updates of our activities as related to the ATMIS mandate. As you are all aware, Atmis police component has four deployed form police units. In contingent in various sectors in Somalia. And they include Uganda, Uganda Akamita. Ghana, Ghana, I commit a police atmos. Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, I commit a. And Nigeria. Ian Nigeria, and that's I commit a. The FPU plays a crucial role in ensuring improved security through joint patrols. Marka FPU na kama kala nga hadlay wha kaptan hold one person or la harilo din a kormer ka iyo hold galaba. And these FPU are the ones that I've mentioned earlier from different countries. They perform joint patrols with Somali police. We assist with public... Um, if we can have you looking at the camera instead of the translator. Oh, okay. We assist with public order management. Provide VIP escorts. Protect key installations within Somalia. And we also support AU individual police officers, that is the general police officers that goes, goes out there to co-locate with the SPF. Who provides secure, uh, uh, who provide capacity building for the SPF? At various police stations and police uh, locations. In various fields of operations. Also, these FPU, these IPOs are from different countries. Which form Atmis Police? And they are from Zambia, Sierra Leone. Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, and Ghana. The Atmis Police also has a senior leadership team, as you are seeing us all here. Made up of the Commissioner of Police, that is me. The Chief of Staff, sitting by my left. The FPU coordinator and uh, operations sitting on my right. The reform and restructuring coordinator, the one from Zambia, Zimbabwe. And the training and development coordinator from my far left. 
At Miss Police, we form structuring and development, provide mentoring. And advisory support to SPF. On police duties such as human rights observation. Crime prevention strategies, community policing, such procedures and investigations, and reform. Atmis police have so far conducted a series of trainings. Series of training and refresher causes for middle level police officers that I mean the Somali police force and new recruits. As well as running courses in traffic management, and investigation techniques. From January to March, over 218 Somali police officers have been trained in different categories yes. of police of police uh, different police uh, strategies in strategic areas and, and these are computer applications in policing. Use of community policing in prevention and countering violent extremism. Fingerprint. Sorry. Fingerprint. From January to 2023 to date. 2023 to date. From January. January to date. We have successfully executed the following. In January, we commissioned and handed over the newly constructed building at Jawa Poli Airport Police Station to the Hashbella State Police Force. Jawa, yes, airport. It's a police. It's a police station. On the same January 7th, specifically, we conducted a four-day capacity building workshop for 12 SPF officers in CID, that is Criminal Investigation Department, in fingerprints at Bandaria Magadishu. Banadig. Banadig. On 30th January 2023, we also conducted a capacity building workshop for 39 SPF. On using community policing to prevent and counter violent extremism.
That means how the police interact with their community people to identify violent people in their various communities. In the Banadir Bana, Bana Magadishu. Or Banadir region, I had a customer, but it had a Banadir in the Sada, one of Banadir region, Mogadishu Asmata. Again in January, sorry, in January, January, same year, January or Sana Kana. Atmis police conducted a capacity building workshop on computer applications. Sasso Karo has made to Barocco Sapson computer application. For nine SPF police officers in Lua Juba Land Kismayo. We have also supported the training and passing out of 151 recruits in Juba Land Kismayo. Atmis police also conducted a 10 days ICT capacity building workshop for about seven okay. SPF officers. In Jubaland State, Kismayo. In March. On 15th March, we handed over a draft proposed SOP, that is the the standard operating procedure. To the SPF logistics department. At SPF headquarters. Now there are also series of activities and achievements. I'll now ask that we have the screen so that we can display some of the the activities that we have achieved. So that you can see for yourself. I think what I can see for yourself is I'm screen for that what I can tell. How long has it been?